안녕하세요. <웃음> 퇴근하고 너무 피곤해서 집 오자마자 뻗었어요. <웃음> 아 요즘 너무 멍때린다 다들 요즘 잘 지내신가요? 저는 요즘 나쁘지 않은 것 같아요 um, I just got out of the shower and dried my hair uh, talked to my parents for a bit and decided to turn on my camera cause why not? The thought I've been having lately is I realized my parents are getting older um, and it makes me kind of sad sometimes <laughs> I think when you're young um, when you think of your parents there's a fixed image in your mind when I think of my mom there's like a there's this kind of scene that plays in my head and the same goes for my dad so ever since you're young and you grow older I think that scene has always been very very concrete even though I'm growing my perception of them is still the same. They're still my parents. Um, and over the years, I'm grateful because my parents and I have, I think, deepened our relationship. 한국 와서 정서를 배우고 문화도 배우면서 부모님을 이해 이해가 되더라고요. 조금 다른 모습도 보이고 부모님에 대한 생각도 많이 깊어지고. 사랑도 많이 깊어지고 <웃음> 그래서 그거는 좋지만 I think before when I was around maybe 19 so I was when I was in high school beginning of college I realized like wow my parents are you know they're people too they have their own set of concerns and um, feelings and emotions and they go through different things I don't know about but they were still pretty young back then I see um, physical traces of evidence that my parents are getting older. Uh, my dad started like sprouting white hairs. My mom, um, when she does the dishes now, her hand kind of aches sometimes. When we go out walking, my parents aren't as sprightly as they used to be, so I have to kind of slow down the pace at which we walk. 그런 모습들을 보면서 조금씩. 걱정도 되고 슬프기도 하고 약간 아 진짜 I think now I feel like a new set of responsibilities to take on 그래서 요즘 그런 생각도 들고 In America I'd be 25 because I was born in 1996 but in Korea, we have this custom where you add one more year to your age because we have lunar year. Me and my friends all agree on this. It's a strange age to be in your mid-twenties. You've kind of grown into your own skin, so you're comfortable with who you are, but your identity keeps changing. A lot of different possibilities can happen. So I guess it's a good thing, but at the same time, it can also be confusing at times. There's this post just popped up on my feed. I thought it was very, very insightful, so I'm just gonna share it with you guys. Four signs that you're on the right path. In the midst of all the ups and downs, you still feel a sense of peace in knowing that everything happens for a reason. True. One thing I've learned is I think everybody has like their own pace at which they go in life. <laughs> 그거는 확실한 것 같아요. 사람마다 가는 속도는 다르고 가는 길도 다르고 비교할 수는 없는 것 같아요. You went through a period of solitude which shifted your focus inward towards discovering what resonates most with you. This period of time taught you self-love and self-care. 이것도 진짜 맞는 것 같아요. I think everybody goes through a slump in their early or mid 20s. 저는 그게 대학교 5학년 때 왔거든요. <웃음> 아주 심하게 왔어요. <웃음> In those first 4 to 5 years of university, I think I used way too much energy trying to adjust. Before then, I was so energetic about everything. I wanted to try everything. I was just like overflowing with 
excitement and enthusiasm. I literally just wanted to sleep all day. 그런 감정이 인생에서 한 번도 없었거든요. One of my favorite authors is Haruki Murakami. He wrote something, I don't know the exact words to it, but the gist is that everybody kind of goes through like a storm. It can be symbolic, it can actually be a physical storm, but everybody goes through it. And while you're in the turmoil, you have no idea that you're going through something. But once you come out of the storm, you realize that that had been a very like tumultuous, crazy time. His most important point was that um, the person that you entered and the person that you came out from the storm are two completely different people. Number three, the people in your inner circle are experiencing big wins. It can be hard to see your own progress in real time. However, when your tribe is winning, this is a sign that you are also winning. I think we live in a society that is driven by competition. <laughs> and I think, to be honest, because like I used to do sports, so a little competition is very, very healthy. It's a point of motivation sometimes. But I think when competition becomes comparison, it can really, really damage your mind and your mental health. Comparison is a thief of all joy. <laughs> but I live in a culture where comparison is very, very, it's a social norm. When something great happens, you want someone to be happy for you, and you also want someone to celebrate it with you. That's, that's one of the greatest joys of life, being, being celebrated and celebrating. Something that we don't really teach enough nowadays because we live in a selfish society. Let me just say, being selfish is also very important. That's something I learned last year. I think it's a balance that needs to be attained. Selfishness plus selflessness. When I have my own kid, I think this is one of the most important things I want to teach them. Uh, and the last one is, you desire to find balance between what feels right and what makes sense. You value logic, but you also value the language of your soul and the feelings that come from your gut. Isn't it really interesting that people always kind of equate common sense with what is right, but then they also say, follow your heart? <laughs> it's like, what do you want? <laughs> but yeah, it's, I think that's what, what they mean. You need, to, you need to find that balance between what your heart wants and what your mind wants. 많은 경험을 해야 나중에 그런 핸드북이 생기는 것 같아요. 사회생활 하면서 많이 배우는 것 같아요. <웃음> 어, 저는 진짜 1학년 때 생각해보면 그때 너무 철이 없었던 것 같은데 지금 얼마나 다행이에요. <웃음> I think I read this a couple years back, but now it hits a bit differently. The tag in there. 